calling your name. He's calling your name. Jesus loves you. He's calling your name. He knows your name. Even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. He intricately made you in the palm of his hand. He placed a gift inside of you that you would give to one another, that you would be his hands and his feet. That you would love your neighbor as yourself. That you would esteem others better than yourself. And he loves you and he's not mad at you. And he's not gonna give up on you. And he pulls you out of the pit. And he saves you from yourself. You probably wouldn't even be standing here today if his angels didn't, didn't take charge over you and save you from yourself. Can I get a witness? Hey, is there anybody? Can I get a witness here? Hello. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, there we go. We got one witness. That's good. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord, that you gave us chance after chance, after chance. You know the prodigal son? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the story of the prodigal son right now. But I'm gonna tell it on my speaker, the Lord says. So everybody can hear it. Hang on. Jesus loves you, darling. I'm bringing hot dogs tomorrow, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. The Lord wants me to tell you the story of the prodigal right now. There's a story in the Bible. And this son went over to his father and he said, Father, give me my inheritance right now. And the son, the father gave his son all of the money the cash, cash money, money, all the money, money that you're trying to, you know, you turn to get money, anyway, whatever. Anyway. So the father gave him his money. And then his son, he decided that he was going to go on a long journey. And he said, I know what I'm going to do. I have a lot of money. I'm going to go buy some harlots today. And maybe I'm going to go buy some drugs. And maybe I'm going to go drink some. And then one day, he didn't have any money left. So what he did was, he was inside of a pig pen. And he was eating husks. He was eating some corn husks. And he was, he was eating it and all of a sudden, he came to himself. And he said, what am I doing here, eating corn husks, when my father's servant is eating really good food right now? He says, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my father's house, and I'm going to say, will you just make me a servant? Just make me one of your servants so I can have something to eat today. So the son went on a journey to his, back to his father's house. Oh. And he was on his way to his father's house, but 
when his father saw him from far away. And all of a sudden, the continents of his father become, became bright because he saw his son coming. And, his, and the father ran over to his son and he wrapped his arms around him and he said, oh son, oh son, you finally, you've made it back. You're finally here and missed you so much. And the son was trying to tell his father all of the things that he did. He was telling him things like, hey, I spent my money on harlots. Hey, I spent my money on riotous living. I just, I just spent it on, on drugs and drinking and stuff. But you know what? The father didn't even hear any single word of what his son did. It didn't even matter to his father. He just said, I want you to put a room around my son today. I want you to put some shoes on his feet. And I want you to put a ring on his finger. And I want you to kill the fatted calf. We're about to have a party up in here today, man. So they started having a party. My son and his brother heard music. And his brother called the servant over and says, hey, what's going on in the house today? I'm hearing some music and a party going on right here. And he said, he said, didn't you hear the good news? Your brother, he was found safe and sound, and he is home today. And they took the fatted calf, and, and your father showed him a party today. The brother, he had indignation and hate in his heart, and he walked over to his father. And he says, what's going on right here? You know, you've never killed the fatted calf for me. But here, when your son, he spent all of his money on harlots and drinking and drugging, you had decided to kill the fatted calf and give him a party today. What's up with that? And the father said, son, son, don't you know that everything that I have is yours? It was good that we killed the fatted calf and had a party for your brother because he once was blind, but now he sees. He was once lost, but now he is found. He leaves all 99 for you. He leaves Everybody else to get his one sheep that has walked the other direction. He is the bishop of the sheep. And if one of his sheep is fallen in the ditch, he's gonna call and he's gonna get him out. Did you hear it? If you've fallen in the ditch, he's come to get you out. What love 
of the Father does he have for you? That he would leave all 99 to come and get you? How perfect, how fearfully and wonderfully made, how altogether lovely, how altogether beautiful are you to me? I made you a masterpiece. I made you to walk with me. I made you to hear me. Things aren't going well because you are with me. You're not supposed to be on your own, doing this, doing that, waking up, saying, what am I going to do today? Where am I going to go? It's not working out because you can do nothing without Jesus. Nothing. Zero. Zero, nada, nothing. Hello. Did you lose your shirt? Oh no, I just got hot. He's up with the jacket on. I'm just trying to get a little fresh air. Oh, that's good. Hey. Did you like the sandwiches? Oh yeah, listen, they actually taste like uh, beanie weenie. Hey. I like the oh. sauce. Hey, what's going on? You ain't even out without me. God bless you. How are you doing? You know I'm still gonna fight. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. What is true religion? True religion, yeah. Looking better. Yeah, I'm going to look better. As long as we keep praying together, because praise is going to stay together. They say, well, I read the book, say, well, two or more. We've been there. Two, two more. more. Together, yeah. Come together. Then he's hey, right here. Yeah. I'm not talking about you. What's your name? Oh, you're going to tell me I'm listening. Go ahead. This is me. Yeah. You're going to respect. I'm just going to try to But I'm fighting with my demon because I love this. Upper and keep the corner from being a pain. Is this something you smoke? Yeah. 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 Well, that's that's what I'm, 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 I let ask God, like, cause look, what first I was, I was doing it, it threw me off. But now, I was, just now, before I left you, I was just chilling for about like 30 minutes. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Listen. The Lord wants me to ask you a question. Okay, that's good. I ain't gonna stop you He wants me to ask you a question. Okay. Let me answer your question. You know, it's taking me backwards. But I didn't call myself against dealing with the devil saying that God works with me, but I think I can use it to more beneficial. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a lie, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I no, that's what the Satan told me. Yeah, he, well, he's a liar. I know he's a liar. You know, At least I was you, honest. I was honest. Okay. Going along with okay, it's honest. I'm honest. I'm out. I know. Okay, so, let's go on. Let's okay, go so well, we need to pray. I need to pray that that the Lord you gives you wisdom and revelation. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they won't let me go on the street. What's up with the street now? No, you know we can't. Can nobody stand on the street? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Anyway. Love your father. You love your son. You've placed him here for such a time as this one so that, so that you can just sow your seed for it. Because you're, because he, see look, because he's, he's gonna, look, he's, he's working. Don't give up. You need to, you know what, if you, the Lord keeps saying it, quit talking about the enemy. If you talk, if you talk more about the enemy, then that's who's gonna be your God. See what I mean? You guys say Jesus. Listen, listen. What? 
Whether well, you don't talk about what he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I don't want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, you're right. He ain't got no just, sense. Just, 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 just hack around to you. Go ahead. You hear what I mean? Go ahead, go ahead. You're, right. you're being deceived. I get mad. I kill that. I think, you know what? You need to get angry. Say, I'm not going to put up with it no more. That's right. You say, greater is he that's inside of me. Then he that's in the world, yeah, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead off of the cross. Uh, that, that, that's who you are. You're the son. Listen, you're his son. He loves you all the time. You just don't know who you are. You don't have to try. You just come into the arms of Jesus. He does it all. We can't try. We can't try, man. You just have to surrender all. But I'm being honest. I don't think you're gonna come in the room. I need some pressure. I pray that I pray that the spirit of addiction comes to you. I know, but look, I know, I Jesus, look, 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 I'm not going to hear about, I don't want to hear about the enemy. He, he doesn't have no say. I want to hear Jesus Christ. That's it. Where have you been? What is going on here? Where have you been? Yeah. You don't need to come 